Okay, we have our today a tricky looking integral from the Vienna integration be 2024 problem 33. We have the integral from minus 2 to 0 of x over e to the x over 2 times square root of 1 plus x over 2 e x over 2 all squared dx. Okay, to get started with this, I think the first thing, it's really messy. I really, I think I want to clean up this part. I just don't know how I can really deal with that, that as it is. But one nice thing though, You'll notice this right here, if we bring this into the numerator, this can be written as e minus x over two. And then if we do a u substitution on this, we can write this the same kind of way. So for my u, we can bring this into the numerator here and do our u substitution for x plus two times e minus x over two. The reason I like that is when we take the derivative here, we know the exponent's gonna stay the same, so we might get some simplification with that. So going ahead for du, first we'll use the product rule. So integrating this first part is just gonna be one times the second part, e minus x over two. And then for the second part, we're gonna keep the first part, we're gonna keep x plus two. Derivative here, this is just gonna be e minus x over two, but I'm gonna need the chain rule. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna bring out a like minus one half right here. And maybe you kind of, write, kind of write it like that. And this is gonna be, and then we'll have a dx at the end. But then from here, I think I wanna clean this up a little bit. Let's get a common denominator. I can multiply by two over two here. So we could try to get this all over two. Then we're gonna have two e minus x over two. Multiplying all this part together, distributing in minus one, we're gonna have, let's see, minus x e minus x over two. And then for that last part, minus two, I probably didn't need to write it all out this way, but it's all good. So then we have minus two e minus x over two, but then this is just gonna cancel with this. And so we can actually simplify this down to just du equals minus x over two e minus x over two dx. And now before I substitute, notice our numerator is really close to what we have over here. I can just kind of make this happen by multiplying in, if I multiply in minus one half, now this is exactly what we have here. I don't want to change it, so I'll multiply by minus two out front. Then we'll just go ahead and substitute. So first, updating our bounds. If you plug zero in here, this first part becomes a two, and this is one, so our upper bound just becomes two. And then plugging in minus two, this here becomes zero, the lower bound just becomes zero. And then again, our whole numerator is just gonna be this du, and then the denominator is gonna become square root one plus u squared. And now from here, this is a pretty well-known integral. Uh, we could use a formula on it. We could do it a few different ways. I think I'm just gonna do the, the straightforward thing. I'm just gonna do the trick substitution on this. So for u, I'm gonna set it equal to tan of t. Take a derivative, we get du equals secant squared t dt. And then also we can get a value for t, where t is just gonna be arctan of u. And so let's just go ahead with this, but I think for the moment I'm just gonna drop the bounds and do it as an indefinite integral and then back substitute at the end, just because with this particular problem, with two here, evaluating the bounds can be kind of messy. So let's just update it as an indefinite integral. du is gonna become secant squared t dt. This is all gonna become square root one plus tan squared t. But this here is actually gonna be secant squared t inside the square root. So this is gonna be absolute value secant t. I'm gonna drop the absolute value just because we know when we go back, it's gonna be first quadrant, it's gonna be positive. So this whole thing is gonna become secant t, but then when we rewrite it, we can cancel one of these with one of these. And now we're just integrating minus two integral secant t dt. For this right here, I'll just use the formula. This is gonna be minus two natural log absolute value secant t plus tan t. But now from here, we just wanna get it back to u because that's what our bounds were from zero to two in u. So first for tan t, we already have a value for that. That's just gonna be u. I just need to use the triangle to find the value for secant t. So let's just draw this really quick. If our angle on this is t, tan t, we can write this as u over one. So we can write our triangle at the sides this way. Then just using the Pythagorean theorem, the third side is gonna be just square root u squared plus one. We want our value for secant t. That's just gonna be hypotenuse over adjacent. So that's just gonna be square root u squared plus one. So taking this and plugging it back in along with this other value for tan t, we're gonna have minus two natural log square root u squared plus one 
plus u, and then our bounds from the previous board in u was from zero to two. So now we can just go ahead and evaluate first at two, so we've got a minus two natural log. I can drop absolute value because everything's positive here with these bounds. And then plugging in two, this is gonna be the first part's gonna become square root of five plus two. Then next we need to plug in a zero. Here we'll have this minus two up front like this. When we plug zero in, we're gonna have natural log of square root of one, or just one. And then plugging in zero, that's just zero. But here, natural log of one is just zero. So for my final solution of this, we just have minus two, natural log square root of five, plus two, and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Good problem from Vienna Integration B 2024. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.